not like you break me. I wipe my mouth shot, he don't pronounce my name correct. Who's the guy to be rules? Any exceptions? And I'm not a leader. Stick in the box and I get him. I fix the shot as if I need a donor hole. Don't get to the crib and break me. I wipe my mouth when I finish watching y'all suck clock. Don't doubt you put an ounce of that evil on me. I'm flipping Ricky. I give an inch to you, Simps. I'll never forgive you. No saying this. We are set to bring you baseball from one of the crown jewels of the sport, venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. Corey Seager is a man on a mission as he tries to bring his hitting streak. Alec Mills is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 Leading against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right, right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. Bet. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First offering on its way. First of three here to start the week as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Matty, I hope these guys were listening today during the hitters' meeting because they have not been swinging the bats well. They only scored one run in the loss yesterday, and somewhere along the line, this offense has to execute at a higher level if this team's going to compete. The third base. Next up for Los Angeles, Justin Turner. First offering. Aye. And we could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. The wind up and the 0-1. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. Marisnik is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Adam Kerr, the Next up is Corey Seager. He's really been dialed in at the plate lately, having hit safely in his last 19 games. Yeah, Matty, he's got a chance to go for 20 right here. That's a huge hit streak, and he's done it in a variety of ways. Some damage mixed in with just some nice ABs. Throw the first beats him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Now to the play, Javier Baez. He'll leave things Here off here in the Here bottom half come. of the first. Not shortstop. Javier. The pitch. Baez. Oh, my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Into the bleachers and gone. Solo home run there for Javi Baez. Fourth home run for him on the season, and the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. Price starts in with a strike. It's 0-1. Dan Hero, you check out this Dodger team as they enter play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Got him swinging on the that fastball cool. there. Jason the Hayward is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Oh, yeah. Out in front of it, strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now a swinging bunt. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. 
And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As a pitcher, you'd Not love to assert your authority Not early on in the game, but it hasn't three. happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Anthony Rizzo swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Two out here and a runner at second. Fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and the Cubs have an early 1-0 lead. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Here's the first pitch to him. And one count and the pitch ripped on the ground to first a diving effort here as he gets a glove on it and there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first what a play okay here's how the Cubbies are lining up defensively and let's take a look at Javi Baez I don't know second base shortstop third maybe a little Aye. outfield doesn't matter this guy has platinum hands Platinum, not gold. One of the best defenders in our sport and probably the quickest tag man in our game. And he falls behind 0-2. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. Ground ball right side. He's got it. And quickly there are two away. That is good. Next to dig in, A.J. Pollock hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Dodgers down in order. They're down 1-0. Last half of the second set to go. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Jake Marisnik. Now here's the first offering. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Behind 0-2 now. And it's fouled away. Bryce Reddy with another 0-2. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he one lays ball, off strikes, one yeah. and two. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first down. So one down, no one aboard. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Wind up and the 0 1. Little chopper back to the mound. On the first, oh, and the out. price is right here, two away. Got him. 
Stepping up is Demaro Marcus. Comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Price into his motion. Here it comes. Now a fastball swung on and missed. And that is out number three. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Next up is Max Muncy. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And he gets ahead 0-1. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. That's a hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. Stepping in next, Chris Taylor. And you can see great numbers over the past few games. First offering. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Oh, one's the count. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well-executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Mariznik is back near the Ivy as he makes the catch for the first down. So now to the play, David Price. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Muncy stands at first with one out. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. Now a bunt attempt here. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Marisnik gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Dodgers leave one. Bottom of the third now. And next will be the pitcher, Alec Mills. No pitcher. Ready. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Fouled off. One out nobody on. Here's a late swing and a miss strike two. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there. 0 and two. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. in complete control now seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now first pitch of the AB you. on its way. Jason, Jason Hayward, Hayward will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there it's nothing at one. 
This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Pure dominance on the mound as he strikes out the side in order. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Stepping in once again is Justin Turner. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. First pitch on its way. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. So a base hit for him has him aboard to start out there half of the fourth as we take a look at the league leader board in hits. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that's just shy of the baskets and off the ivy. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Just classic confidence at the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. The relay, and he's safe. Here now is Will Smith. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball, middle of the diamond, and steal a run. Up next is Dodger, the left fielder, A.J. Palmer. So a man at third here with two gone, and up next, the center fielder, A.J. Pollock. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the bleachers and gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left home run number 15 for him thus far and it gives the Dodgers a three to one lead. Hey that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno number one man you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else and he did just that. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. This is pulled into right. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's three to one LA. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, man. They want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And that finds its way through for a base hit. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. Half with a 2-1 two and one count now. To 2-2 two and two now. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Striding in is Anthony Rizzo, struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One and one, the count to the Cubs' first baseman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And it's fouled away. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. 
And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he can rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Jake Marisnik is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Nope. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Cubs strand one. Yes. Score holds. It's three to one. At the plate now is Chris Taylor. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit. Or now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Marisnik going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. So with your pitcher do up next, you can either have him bunt or you can even think about having him show bunt to draw the corners in and then let him swing away. Depends on how much confidence they have in him with a bat in his hands. In now, David Price try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. First offering, left side. Bryant's got it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Up next, Justin Turner. He's one for two in the ballgame. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Line towards center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. So that'll extend the inning, and with two away, bring up Corey Seager. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And we'll call up our Dodger leaderboard to show you that his total ranks in third best on the squad. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers four. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He told me that they've been way too aggressive on the first pitch of the at-bat. And while he doesn't necessarily condemn that if it's leading to hits, that's clearly not the case right now. Over 80% of their at-bats have started Aye. with a swing on the first pitch, and a lot of those have resulted in swinging misses or outs, guys. All right, Heidi, thank you. Fouled away. Popped up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. The, the next cub up to the Morrow Vargas. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Into the box, Alec Mills Double looking picture. to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. In there for strike one, 0 and 1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. They trail it 4 to 1. So here's Cody Bellinger. The center field, number 35. Cody 
Bellinger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Now that catcher. Chicago manager up out of the dugout now, so he'll make the slow walk to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. Number 89. Just five innings to work for him here as he really never found his rhythm in this one. No hits to this point. Oh, and one, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the move is Hayward, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. A.J. Pollock will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. First pitch of the A.B. now. Owen won the count. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. This one's down to third. Bryant is up with it to second for one. On to Rizzo and it's a double play. Side retired. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here as they hold on to a four to one lead. Javier Baez and through five turns at bat they've only mustered a total of three hits not terrible but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders well it's getting a little bit too late in this game but this continues like this in today's game with so many dominant bullpen arms you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up looked like he was cheating a heater right there a little bit too far out in front got to find a way to keep his hands back Trying to send him packing for the second time. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Here's Jason Hayward now. No balls in one strike. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now here's the first offering. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Throw on to Muncy. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. And now here is Max Muncy. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Rizzo is there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. No batter number. stretch here's the pitch fly ball out to straightaway right Hayward has a read on it two gone now batting the pitcher David now here's the pitcher David Price so with two away they decide to let him hit instead of burning a pinch hitter first offering on its way mm, a little tardy there no oh, balls and a strike we're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Count remains at 0-2.
Nothing in two count and the pitch. Trying to go the other way. This is looped out toward third. A little trouble handling this one down. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Two up on the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that. 24. Anthony Rizzo. So next to bat will be Anthony Rizzo. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Anthony Rizzo becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. Jake Marisnik is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. And here's oh, a fastball on 0-2, but it misses. One and two now. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Cubs are down in order. They trail it 4-1. to one. Summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50. New inning set to get underway. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. First pitch on the way. Slow roller left side. Reined in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now to bat, Justin Turner is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Here's the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Line toward the gap in left center. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three no singles. Here's Corey Seeger. He's working on a one for three thus far. On its way, the 0 1 pick. Fly ball right down the line and left. Settling under it is Marisnik for out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. A hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. They'll go to Baez at second for the force, and that ends the inning. One left for L.A., but they lead it 4-1. to one. Tommy Kingley will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 44, Tommy Into the box is Austin Romine. In his last at bat, he popped out in the foul pitcher. ground. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. Hit hard, but foul.
And a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1 and 2 now. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. But in this situation, he was able to hold back. That's a nice take. And another foul ball. Now another 1-2. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Keenly over to his left. He's got it one away. The bat. Second base. The back one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Three. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Cameron Maven. with the swing. 0-2 oh, the count to Maven now. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Three up three down for the Cubs. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Jonathan Holder enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. He's set. Here it comes. A bouncer to the left side. Bryant's got it. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next for the Dodgers, A.J. Pollock. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Hayward. He makes the running play. Two down. Now to the. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. sharply on the ground that gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey not an easy thing to do right there Dero with that stacked infield on the right side to hit it through where the shift is you have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah he found a good result right there Dan pitcher actually executed right there got him to hit it where he wanted to put good barrel good contact on that ball was able to find the ball. Gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one as they hold on to a four to one lead. Javier Baez will stand in again. Kenley Jansen enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. and deals here's the first pitch high and deep down the left field line Aye. 
slider, and that's in there for strike two. No ball, two strikes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 0 and 2 coming. Hit the other way out toward right field. Betts has a read on it. One down. The back. The right so stepping in is Jason Hayward. He was punched Hayward. out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Here comes the 0-1. Hey! Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. A guy who's willing to work east-west consistently with a great cutter two-seamer combo. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Now Here's Patrick. Chris Bryant now. Career matchup numbers Three. against Kenley Jansen. He's hitless in three at-bats. And that's cut on a oh. miss.